Hi guys, my name is Bappi Hamed and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'll show you how we can perform text to image generation with the help of multi-model. See, this kinds of multi-model uses hybrid architecture. That means they use uh, NLP architecture as well as the computer vision architecture. So with the help of NLP architecture, uh, they just try to understand the prompt, whatever prompt you are giving, that means whatever text you are giving. And with the help of uh, computer vision architecture, uh, they will generate that particular image. Okay, so mostly they will be using a GAN model. Okay, like uh, I think you know what is GAN generative adversarial uh, network. So with the help of GAN actually we can generate image, right? And if you want to, uh, let's say train any kinds of computer vision model. So definitely uh, you need a data, you need a huge amount of data. And uh, most of the people will have the concern like where we'll get this kinds of image data. Okay, so let me show you some of the uh, amazing website you can refer to collect your own data. And uh, this data sheet is already annotated. You don't need to even annotate those are the data. Simply you can download and you can use as it is. So guys, uh, there is one amazing website I usually refer called roboflow.com. So roboflow is having uh, one amazing uh, actually service called U universe. Okay, so let me show you this universe. So this is one uh, amazing product actually from the roboflow. So inside universe, you will be having all kinds of computer vision related data. So inside RoboFlow universe, you can uh, filter out with respect to let's say object detection, classification, image segmentation, okay, anything. Uh, even you can also directly search here, let's say I need uh, person data. Simply I will search for person and it will provide me person related data, see, okay. Now you can simply download these are the data. Let's say I want to download this data, simply just try to click here. Then after that, you will see one option called download project. So now simply click on the download data set and you can select the format, okay, and you can download the data. And after downloading the data, you can uh, fine tune any kinds of computer vision model. Even uh, with the help of this data, you can also create a GAN model. Okay. And that GAN model will be able to generate the image. Okay. So that's how actually they usually train uh, this, uh, this kinds of like hybrid architecture. So they use uh, actually uh, lots of uh, textual data. They use lots of image data and they uh, train this kinds of like model and we call them as, uh, actually multi-model okay now uh, let me show you uh, how we can perform like uh, this kinds of text to image uh, generation with the help of pretend model and this kinds of uh, model is already available in the hugging face hub so from the hugging face hub uh, now we'll download the model and we'll use that particular model uh, to perform text to image generation so i already recorded one project on top of it so let me show you guys how we can perform it so here we'll be doing actually text to image generation with the help of hugging face so if you want to uh, actually generate image from the text so you have to use something called diffusion model okay diffusion model and what is diffusion model diffusion model is a uh, kind of actually large language model it is available in the hugging face okay and if you want to use a diffusion model you have to use one library called uh, diffusion okay diffusion so this diffusion will help you to actually load this kinds of diffusion model and you can perform this kinds of text image generation. So again, it is available inside uh, hugging face only. So you don't need to uh, go to the any, any other platform. Okay. So additionally, we just need to install another library called diffusion. And with the help of that, we can uh, easily access that diffusion model. As of now, I don't need the gradio here. I can remove it. Hmm. So these are the library actually I have to install here. So as you can see, diffusion is the hugging face space uh, for uh, using the diffusion Diffusion model from the Hugging Face Hub. So here you can see, let me show you the page actually. I have already um, given the link. So see, this Diffusion is available inside Hugging Face only. So they have already uh, written like how we can install it, okay? And how we can uh, load the Diffusion model and all. Every example they have already given here, fine. So I have followed this uh, documentation guys and I prepared one notebook for you. And uh, let me show you how we can from this text to image generation with the help of different different large language model and here the model actually will be using guys this is actually a multi model that means this model uses both kinds of architecture your uh, nlp architecture as well as the computer vision architecture because here you have to give the prompt that means text is nothing but your prompt okay and it will generate the image that means first of all it will process the text then it will process that particular image okay image output so that's why it is using something called hybrid architecture okay so it is called actually multi-model. I hope you cleared. Now let me install all required packages I need here. Now let me import this uh, stable diffusion pipeline for diffusers. Uh, the same way actually we uh, used to load our pipeline. I think you remember from the transformer. So here also we have to load the pipeline for the diffusers. Okay. Now I also need the matplotlib because I want to visualize the image. Then I also need the torch library. Now, if you want to see the version of any package, you can execute this command. Pip show the package name. It will show you the version. Okay. 
now here i kept actually two kinds of diffusion model uh this is the model id one and this is the model id two you can see the first model this is the first model so the model name is uh dreamlike diffusion 1.0 so this is the model guys uh, and it is available in the hugging quiz hub okay see whatever models actually we can see in the model section this is called actually hugging quiz hub that means in the hub also you can upload your own model it is possible let's say if i click on the model now so inside this model you can upload your own model let's say you fine-tuned one model and you want to share with the community you can also push your model here okay so the other people can download your model and they can use it okay i'll also tell you how you can push your model to the hugging face up everything i'll try to show you even you can also upload your own data set okay it is also possible here now this is the model guys you can read about the model and this is the a few results actually you can see they have given different different prompt and these are the results they have generated okay this is one of the amazing model even they have also given the code snippet how you can use it and all everything they have given now another model actually uh this one the model name is stable uh, diffusions excel base 1.0 this is the model so this is the model architecture high level architecture that means first of all you have to give the prompt and with the help of actually transformer model uh what they will do they will just try to understand this prompt and they'll try to perform the tokenization convert to the vector representation okay that means uh, converting to the embedding then they'll be creating one latent dimension uh, 120x cross 120x and this latent dimension will pass to the unit model if you don't know uh, inside distributed diffusion actually unit model is used so unit model will try to generate the image okay with respect to the prompt user has given okay you can see last time getting the image output again they have already given the paper link and all if you're interested you can open it up and you can learn okay see they have also given the code example now let me show you how we can use this model so what i've done guys uh, i'm loading the first model you can see uh, stable diffusion pipeline from pretend i'm loading the first model and here you have to give some parameter okay that means torch uh, data type torch.float64 and use uh, save tensor is equal to 2 okay you have to pass this two parameter now i'm loading this uh, model inside my cuda that means inside my gpu because if you load inside your cpu it will take lots of time right so that's why i'm loading everything inside my gpu now let me show you see it is downloading the model now here i have prepared one prompt guys you can see this prompt dreamlike art a uh Grungri woman with a uh, rainbow hair traveling between dimensions dynamic poses happy soft eyes and narrow ch chin uh extreme bouquet dining figure long hair straight down and tone uh quality shirt and baggy jeans okay so this is my prompt actually i have prepared now you can give any kinds of prompt if you feel like okay you have to use this prompt you can give it here now this prompt actually i have to give my pipeline object that means inside my model and model will give me the image matrix okay so let me show you see it is generating this image right now i think currently in the chat gpt also it is having one model called gpt 4.0 okay so this model also can generate uh actually different different image so see create an image for my presentation now if i click here now see it is utilizing something called gpt 4.0 see if i click here see gpt 4.0 they are using now it is asking uh just try to give any kinds of prompt let's see if i give same prompt here let's see what happens see it is generating the image right now so they are also using this kinds of uh like a diffusion model in the backend a multi model that means they are understanding the prompt then they are generating the image okay see okay this is the output i got now let's see uh from my model actually the model actually i'm referring from the hugging face see if i uh plot this image right now you can see this is the results i got now see the chat gpt and see my results both are pretty good now you can also plot with the help of matplotlib it is also possible first of all i'm uh, like uh printing the prompt then i'm printing the image okay now let me give another prompt a girl is sitting on a chair and she is accompanied by her tiger make sure to keep it cinematic and color to be golden iris okay now let me see the output the same prompt you can give to the chat gpt as well let's see so here i think i got the results now let me plot the image see this is the image i got and see this is the image i got from my chat gpt so both are good guys 
now i think you got it how we can use this kinds of uh, actually multi model as well okay if i want to let's say generate text to image or image to text okay every, everything is possible now if i show you so if you just go to the hugging face uh, model section uh here if you click on the model now see here you are having different different tasks let's say you want to perform text to image generation so here is the task guys inside computer vision you can select it now see you are having different different model so here i was using diffusion model you can also use any other model okay see how uh, that many of models are available uh, around thirty-four thousand model you can use any of the model okay any of the model and you can try so this should be your task guys i will uh leave it to you you can explore any kinds of model from the hub itself okay only select this task text to image okay now let's see if you want to perform image to text that time select this one and you can see the different different model even if you want to see the example open it up they have also given the lots of example here okay port snippet everything they have given you can learn from here so this is the best platform guys if you want to deep dive inside hugging face fine now we'll be learning some uh, parameters of the division model like you can set some of the parameter okay uh, let's say you want uh, actually different dimensional image you want to let's add some more uh, parameter in that image you can also do it for this i created a function generate image so it will take the pipeline object prompt as well as the parameter and whatever things actually you will be assigning the parameter it will set inside pipeline and it will render the image with the help of matplotlib so let me execute see th that many of actually uh, parameter you can play with negative prompting and now uh, num inference step height weight okay and number uh, number of image part prompt okay now let's say this is another prompt i have prepared as of now parameter i am not giving anything it's empty now if i pass these are the thing inside my generate function see it will give me the image so this is the prompt a uh, dream like beautiful girl playing the festival of color wrapped in traditional india uh attire, throwing uh colors okay this is my prompt now you can see based on the prompt it has given me one beautiful image okay see beautiful image it has generated I can give any kinds of prompt. Let's say number of inference step. I have given 100. Now let's see what kinds of input I get. You can see the documentation of the, like uh, this one, uh, diff diffusers. You will see different, different, uh, actually parameter we're having there. See, this is another example. Now you can see both images are same. Mm, I can't see any difference. Now let's see with any other actually parameter. Let's say height. I want to change actually different height, uh, height and weight. So for this, you can pass this height and weight parameter here. Now let me see. So now you can see guys, I got the results and in a different uh, height and width right now. So that's how you can play with different, different parameter. Now let's see another parameter, uh, number per image prompt. That means if I want to, let's say generate multiple images, that time I can give image number of images per prompt two. That means it will give me two image right now. So here is the results. Now I'm getting two uh, output from my image. Now let's see, you want to get three, you can give three here. Now let's also see the negative prompting. So here I have added negative prompt, ugly, destroyed and low quality. Let's say this is my negative prompt. Now let's see whether it is able to generate or not. So right now you can see, uh, see this results and this results, I think you can see the difference. This is a little bit uh, low quality. And the prompt I have given ugly, destroyed and low quality. So it is almost matching, I think. Fine. So yes, that's how we can uh, use this kinds of uh, like multi-model. And I can uh, do the text to image generation. Fine. Now, I already showed you, we are having so many model guys. Just try to explore from your end some of the model and try to um, like implement any kinds of projects. Fine. So guys, uh, so far what we have learned. So we saw like uh, how we can use the existing model from the uh, hugging face. That means... Let's see if you want to use any pre-trained model. Pre-trained model. You can directly use it. So you have to use something called pipeline. Okay, pipeline for this. Inside pipeline, you have to mention the task you want to perform. Okay, let's say you want to perform sentiment analysis. You want to perform, let's say, translation. You want to perform, let's say, summarization. You can mention. Or else what you can do, you can also do the fine-tuning operation. Okay, fine-tuning of a pre-trained model. okay and i already showed you one fine tuning example like i did the text summarization okay text summarization so there i trained on top of my custom data now you can ask me when we have to use pretend model and when you have to do the fine tuning operation so let's say whenever you are having a problem statement let's say uh, 
let's say you want to do text summarization only text summarization only okay text summarization only first of all try to use the existing model that means the pre-10 model okay pre-10 model let's say i showed you one model now google pegasus that cnn daily mail model try to use that model and try to see whether your model is able to give the correct let's say summary or not correct summary or not if it is able to give the correct summary then why you need to draw fine tuning definitely not you can use this model as it is right but let's say if your data is a little bit different let's say you are using something called um, let's say banking data okay banking data banking related let's say conversation you are having and this conversation is not working with that pretend model that time what you can do you can collect your own data that means your custom data okay custom data and based on that you can fine tune one okay fine tune one pretend model that means you are using one pretend model on top of that you are adding some more knowledge then this model will be able to also work with the banking data as well this is the idea only okay now i think you got it when you have to use the pretend model and when you have to do the fine tuning operation it can be for all kinds of let's say model it can be for the multi model it can be for the for the let's say llm model it can be for the lm model any kinds of model actually it can be applied okay so the model i showed you now right now this diffusion model this uh, text image generation model let's say if it is not able to generate the image uh, the way actually you are generate uh, giving the prompt that time what you can do you can fine tune this model it is also possible you can also fine tune the diffusion model and how to fine tune again they have given all the let's say article here fine tuning everything they have given if you just go to their documentation you easily learn even I will, I will also show you in future okay how we can do the fine tuning of the large language model for this we'll be using another technique called p e f t okay that means parameter efficient fine tuning what is pft i will tell you parameter efficient fine tuning because what happens these kinds of large language model is very huge and i can't train this kinds of model actually on my uh, this kinds of machine the google collab actually i'm taking because it's a huge model huge parameter for this we have to follow this parameter efficient fine tuning process okay that time i'll discuss what is the use of that and how we can fine tune those example on example and all okay everything i'll try to clarify as of now i'm only the exploring like uh, the service actually it is having so that you can get familiar with okay that are the things actually we can perform with this particular platform okay this is my main objective so yes i hope you got it guys and i hope you like this session so yes this is all about thanks for watching